Hey everyone, it's Jackie. So I'm here today with a makeup tutorial for you guys and this is a Victoria Justice inspired look from her new music video, Begging on Your Knees. I love that song so much and I thought her makeup was really beautiful. I mean, it was pretty simple but um, it was really dramatic with her lashes. So we got some big dramatic lashes on today and if you are interested in finding out how to do this look, just keep watching. Okay, so for this look, we're going to start off with the face. And for foundation, I am using the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation in Warm Natural. And I'm just going to use a stippling brush to apply this. And a lot of times when I don't feel like putting the foundation on my hand, I'll use like the back of a palette and just put some on there. Ooh, I'm dropping everything. And just pick some up like that. And then for concealer, I am using the Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer in Sand. There's a watch going off right now. And to set everything, I am using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Press Powder in Silky Beige. I don't know if that focused or not, but... In silky beige I really love this I think it's so comparable to the Mac mineralized skin finish natural I love this so I've been using this a lot more than my um, Mac mineralized skin finish natural just because this one's more affordable and yeah I don't want to run out of my Mac mineralized skin finish <laughs> but they are so comparable I don't know maybe I might even like this one more I don't know Okay, so now our face is a perfect blank canvas to work with. We're going to start with the eyebrows. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this, do one eye, and then I'll come back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. So I have one side of my face complete. So I'm going to zoom you in so we can work on this side. Okay, so first I'm going to darken my eyebrow a lot. <laughs> and um, I'm using the Too Faced Brow Envy. Uh... Sorry, I'm like too zoomed in now, but I am just going to take this super dark matte brown color and the little angled brush that it comes with. Okay, and after that, I'm going to take the little gel that it comes with and use my finger and just kind of apply that lightly right on top of my eyebrows. Okay, now we're going to start with the eyes, and I'm going to prime up my eyes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and this is just going to help the colors stay on longer, and yeah, this will help keep the shadow lasting a lot longer and help the colors be more vibrant and pigmented as well. So I'm going to apply this all over the eyelid and up towards the brow bone and then under the lash line as well. And for this tutorial, I am using my Crown 88 palette. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but it looks very similar to the Coastal Sense 88 palette, but I got this at iMats from the little crown booth. Um, so yeah. So I'm going to take a flat brush like this right here. And I'm going to take this bronzy gold color right here. Just pick some of that up. And I'm going to place this on the lid. And I'm not going to really touch the inner corner that much. But I'm going to place this on the lid and stop right at the crease like that. And you could even use your finger to just blend out the top edges just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, and now with a little pencil brush like this, I'm taking this eyeshadow that I got from Sephora, and it is called Peach. But it's just a light peachy gold color. I'm going to pick some of that up with the pencil brush, 
and apply this on the inner corner and tear duct and kind of blend it on the lower lash line as well. And now with a fluffy blending brush like this, I'm going to go back to the 88 palette and I'm going to take this super dark matte brown color right here. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that color and I'm going to work this in the crease just with windshield wiper motions going back and forth and also I'm going to sweep this onto the outer corner just to darken up the outer corner a bit. So I'm going to sweep it back and forth like that and then also working it in the crease. You can even pick up more to intensify the look even more. Okay, so now once you have that color on, I'm just going to take my finger and again just blend out the edges a little bit. And to blend it even more, I'm going to take this dome shaped brush right here. And this color right here, which is just, you know, a matte skin tone color. So any color that matches your skin tone. I'm going to pick some of that up and just blend this right above the brown. And now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush, or fluff brush, what is this called? A large fluff brush. So I'm taking this brush right here, and this kind of off-white cream color. I don't think you can really tell on camera, it looks just like a white color, but it's a little bit off-white. I'm going to take that and apply this on the brow bone to highlight. Just like that. And now I'm going to go in with this short smudger brush and the same color we used for our crease, this dark matte brown color. I'm going to pick up some of that and we're going to apply this on the outer half of the lower lash line. Just getting those right into the lashes. Okay, so now that you have that done, I'm going to take a black eyeliner, and this is from Urban Decay. Um, you can use any black eyeliner that you like. I'm just going to line my waterline on the outer half. Okay, just like that. And right now, I think it looks a little harsh, so I'm going to use the brush to sort of blend it a little bit. And you can even go back with that pencil brush that we used to highlight and pick up some more of that highlight color and blend that back to the black, just like that. And that just sort of softens the black so it has like an easier and more less harsh transition, if that makes sense. Okay. And now I'm going to line my upper lash line. If I can find my eyeliner. Oh, here it is. I'm going to use my Dolly Wink eyeliner, which you guys know I love, it, and I haven't used it for a while because I've just been experimenting with other products. So I'm going to use the Dolly Wink eyeliner to heavily line my eyes and sort of wing it out just a little bit. Okay, so sorry I got out of focus for a while. Um, it was kind of hard to do eyeliner with like using the little screen. So I had to look down and I got out of focus. So sorry about that, but just lined my eyes. And now for eyelashes, I'm going to use the Miss Adoro number 76 eyelashes. And these are very, very full. And I don't know if you can tell, but they do flare out and get longer at the ends, which I think is perfect for this look because Victoria Justice has very had very dramatic lashes in the music video. So I'm going to apply these, and I actually have a video on how to apply false lashes, so I will have a link right here for you guys to click, and I will see you guys back in a few. Okay, so here is what the lashes look like up close. They are pretty flared out at the end like that, as you can tell. Very full. I love them. Anyways, let's move on to the rest of the face. Hi. Okay, so 
Um, for the cheeks, I already did this side. I don't know if you can tell because the lighting is kind of off. Like, I'm brighter on this side and darker on this side. But anywho, um, for the face, I am using the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And it looks like this. And I'm using the blush and the bronzer. So, first I'm going to pick up the blush with just, you know, a regular blush brush. And I'm going to sweep this on the apples of my cheek and blending it back towards my hairline. And with a more tapered looking brush, I'm going to take the bronzing color now. And I'm going to use that to contour just a little bit. Starting from the hairline and blending it forward like that. And then I'm going to drag it up towards the temple. And then also bring it down onto my jawline and neck. Just like that. Okay. And lastly, for the lips, um, she had kind of this cranberry, um, it was a matte color. It was a matte cranberry looking color. And I am using Rosy Nude from Revlon, and it looks like this. I love this color so much. So I'm just going to normally apply this onto my lips. And you can stop the look here um, because her lips were matte, so, you know, this is like the complete look. But I like gloss, and I don't know, I just, I love gloss. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Lip Gloss in Candid, which is just like this really cranberry-looking shimmery gloss. I mean, it's pretty sheer, but I mean, it has that cranberry tint to it. So I think it works for this look. Okay, so now we are done. This is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun doing it. And yeah, so if you recreate this look, please send me a picture or leave a video response. I'd love to see it. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, have a magical day.